hello everyone welcome back again to my channel if you're new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe and share my video in this video i'm going to show you how i made that gun and on my on my top names and also the first thing i'm going to start working with is uh, my back panel on my first video i showed you how i took my time to cut out the fabric so on this video i'm going to show you how to i'm going to compose i mean compile all, all of them together to make a beautiful gown and the first thing i'm going to do here is this this is my back panel and you can see that there's my this is my two inches for my zipper allowance which i left here and also on my neckline here my back pattern neckline here you can see there's a blue marking here this one is i took half an inch which i'm going to use to tidy up my neckline from here to from here this way to this place so for the first time i'm going to do here is to tidy up my neckline and also this is the wrong this is the wrong side of the fabric I did a video on how to tidy up your neckline. Please look, look have a look at that video uh, where I took my time to explain how to tidy up your necklines or for your garments or for your dresses. So the first thing I'm going to do here is to tidy up my neckline here for my for my back panel. If you remember that my back panel, I split it into two because I'm going to add zip to it. So let me go and tidy up my back my neckline first, then I'll come back and show you the next step. So my friends, uh, I've tidied up the neckline. Now you can see I've tidied up the neckline. The next step I'm going to do is to now add my back panel together. Remember I left it two inches for my zipper allowance. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to attach my zip. But if I attach my zip, I will add, I will measure this out first. Measure my length of my so yeah so i'm going to mark it now one second please eh? so mark it here so after doing that i'm going to add them together like this like this then i'm going to this so i'm going to stitch like i said you see this place here so i'm going to stitch from here i'm going to stitch from here straight down my two inches so when i finish doing that i'll come back and show you the next step my friends i've seen you can see that i've already uh tidy up the neck and i've also attached the zip on it the next step is I will start working on my front panel as you can see friends this is the front panel I'll start working on my front panel so what I'm going to do here I'm going to turn on the right side of the fabric this is the right side of the fabric you can see the stones So now, the next thing I'm going to do here, I'm going to mark half an inch, half an inch from here like this, half an inch, half an inch, round the neck like so, to this place. I need to tidy up the neck first, that's the thing I'm going to do now. As you can see, friends, this is the front panel. I'll start working my front panel. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to turn on the right side of the fabric. This is the right side of the fabric. You can see the stones. So now, the next thing I'm going to do here, I'm going to mark half an inch. Half an inch from here like this. Half an inch, half an inch, round the neck like so. To this place. I need to tidy up the neck first. That's the thing I'm going to do now. Now, friends, as you can see, I've tidied up the neckline of my front panel 
the next step is for me to is to draw out this design here on the neckline so how do i do that so what i'm going to do here i'm going to start working on this design that's on the flare you saw on the front like like a v curve so what i'm going to do is i'm going to draw out a line where i'm going to put in my flare so the line has to be between my chest line and my mid spot mid spot of my bust line so this is my chest line here i'm going to take a ruler to draw it out like so I'll draw it a straight line when I finish that I'll show you the next step so that line you see here this blue line you see here is my chest line so I'm going to draw at my bust point line on my front panel on my right side of my fabric so remember my bust line is uh, 12.5 so what I'm going to do here is this is the wrong side of my fabric which I drafted on earlier where I was trying, where I was cutting it out. So I'm going to measure from my chest line to my bust point how many lengths. So from here to here is 2.5. From my chest line to my bust point line is 2.5 here on my wrong side of my fabric. So this is 2.5. I'll cover it like this. I'll just measure 2.5 down. It's 2.5 see 2.5 call me like this as well make sure 2.5 the other side as well 2.5 i'll do it to the end spot so my friends you can see the two lines here this is my chest line and this is my boss point line which i which i draw out so the next step is to find a miss spot of my boss boss line Mid spot of my bust line. What you simply do is this take a cloth like this, arrange it, making sure, making sure the neck this side is equal and the ham hole is equal. Then you see this, my mid spot of my bust line. You can see it here now, right? So I'll just go to mark it like this, then I'll turn it over. To reflect my miss spot of my bust line so this is my miss spot of my bust line yeah so now that i find my miss spot of my bust line what i'm going to do here is to now draw a curve from here like so to this place like a love curve like from here as well to this place so now i'm going to draw like a curve on that boss point like you see it's, it's like a v curve so i'll just take my hands like this from here draw it like a v curve to make to make my hand hole and this one as well v curve as well see the v curve so you can see the love curves like this this way and this way so it comes the support so lines now stop at my mid spot of my bust line yeah so i'm going to make it thicker so that so i can see it when i'm putting in my fringe So having done that, I'm 
so now that i've done my my love curve there so what i'm going to do i'm going to measure here if it's equal is one inch here i'm also going to measure there this one inch here yeah so you can see the love curve is there this way and that way so having done this yeah the next step is i'm going to come back by one inch here So I'm going to stop here because remember I need to tidy up my ham hole. So go back as well. To be as far as I just make it one and a half inch. One and a half inch here like so. So I'm going to stop there. So yes, yeah, well, make it one and a half inch. So I'm going to stop. So if I want to put in my fringe, I'll just put it from here to here to stop here. I'll put it from here to here to, to stop here as well. So friends, to know how many yards uh, or lengths or inches of flare I'm going to cut out, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to measure this from here to there and from here to there. So what I'm going to do here, I'll measure from here like this. I'll follow the curve. Follow the curve, follow the curve. Stop. So this is nine inches. So because it's going to be a flare, because I'm going to gather it, so I'm going to cut at uh, nine plus nine inches, that is uh, 18 inches. Then I have half an inch to it. 18 plus uh, four and a half is uh, 22 and a half inches. So I'm going to cut out 22 and a half inches flare here. I'm also going to do the same thing here as well. 22 and a half inches. The same thing here as well. It's nine. So it's going to be 22 and a half inches here. 22 and a half inches here. So I'm going to cut out 22 and a half inches here. So because because I want the flare, you see, to just curve and fall on this like this. So, we try the half inches by, by length, yeah, on both sides. Then, make sure how many here. Yeah. I want this to fall. We try the half inches by 4.5 inch, 4.5. 4.5 so it's going to be 22 and a half inches wide right then the length is going to be 4.5 inches that's what, that's what I'm going to cut out so 22 and a half inches so let me go and cut out my 22 and a half inches then I'll come back and finish the, the, the front panel I'll keep this aside I want to go and cut out my friend you know. so friends as you can see, I've cut out my flare, which I'm going to place on the front. So yeah, what I have is uh, 46 inches. Yeah, 46 inches. Then the length from there is 5.5 uh, inches. Inches from here to here is 5.5. From here to here is 46 inches. So I'm going to tidy up here. I'm going to tidy up at the beginning here. I'm going to tidy it up as well. Then, when I finish doing that, I'm going to slit it open, right? Remember, it's two sides. So, let me go and tidy it up and come back and show you the next step. Or, let me just cut it now. So, I'm going to cut it into like this. Yeah? So, I'm going to shade it into two. nice too yeah so i'm going to tidy up from here this way tidy up yeah i'll tidy this side i'll tidy this side as well so i also do the same thing on this side tidy it up tidy it up and tidy this side up as well now come and gather it together friends this i've tidied up my edges 
on my fabric so now i'm going to take it use a needle yeah to go to start from here to gather it from here i'll start doing my gathering which i'm going to put on my love design on my front panel so i'll start doing my gathering like this yeah friends as you can see the next step is for me to now add the flare to the front uh, panel you see the lost shape i draw there so this is a flare i've gathered it with, with a different thread so i can see it properly so now that i've arranged my flare on my on my dress i'm going to pin it now like this start pinning it up tightly so I'm going to pin from here to the end you see so I also do the same thing on that way as well I'm going to do that the same thing from there to the to that place here. so when I finish I'll come back and show you the next step so friends as you can see I've put in my my flare at the front this is the front panel I've tied up the neck so the next stage is is to now tidy up the bottom bit this one remember for my sewing allowance at the bottom bit I left two inches so I'm going to tidy up the bottom bit of my of my front panel then what I'm going to do here I'm going to turn around like this This is the wrong side of the fabric, so I'll take my two inches from here, like so. I'll tidy it up. I'll take half an inch first to, to meet uh, to go this way to, to tidy up my bottom bit of my fabric. So when I do that, when I do that, I'll come and show you the next step. I'll also do the same thing for my back panel as well. Tidy up the bottom bit. That's the next stage. So friends, I've already tidied up the bottom part of it. The next step is to not is not tidy up the side of it and the other side. So what I did here was to put the right side of my back panel and my right side of my front panel together. You can see it's together. And what I did was to arrange it properly, making sure all the edges here and there, my shoulder slope, and my side of my gown down to the ankle. And my side of my ham hole, yeah, especially ham hole, I'm making sure they are all equal down to my ankle. And I took one inch from my sewing allowance, I drafted it up, left my one inch from my sewing allowance there, and the other side as well, my one inch from my sewing allowance there, up as well. So I'm going to take this to my sewing machine, then I'm going to run through my one inch here, straight, uh, my sewing machine to run through straight from the ham hole, yeah, straight down to that place. And from the ham hole here as well, straight down to that place. Remember, I mark one inch out. That's why you see the blue line on this place. That was the that is the um, marking for my for my where I'm going to run my my sewing machine thread on. So let me take this to my sewing machine. I'm going to tidy up my side, this side, and this side. So that's look. I took one inch of my sewing allowance, so I'm just going to mark out my one inch of my sewing allowance. I'll follow the shape of my shoulder slope. It's very important that you follow the shape. And that's the one inch as well. So, if I measure it now, Making sure it's one inch. I'll go on this side as well. It's one inch and it's one inch. So I'm going to sew on the blue line here. So yeah, and so yeah, for the one inch. So showing the back panel and the front panel together. As you can see, I've stitched this to that slope. The next step is to now cut out the sleeve. So my friends the next step now is to add my sleeve to my gown i've already done 
one side of my sleeve i did a video on how to add your sleeve to your gown please have a look at that video you see how i took my time to explain how to add sleeve to your dress so now the next steps to her sleeve i already made up the sleeve this sleeve i did a separate video on how i created this sleeve please have a look at that video where i took my time to explain how to make this gather sleeve so now i'm going to this is my sleeve this is the right side of the fabric i'll push it in then i'll attach the sleeve like so like this I arrange it making sure that all is equal but before i arrange it i'm going to mark at half an inch where i'm going to sew my sleeves i'm going to mark at half an inch from there so when i finish adding the sleeve i'll come back and show you the next step